In this video, I'm going to be working on an old cassette deck. It's a Marantz model 1820. And it's supposed to be at least technically the same as a Marantz. I think it's called a Marantz 5000 cassette deck. And it's supposed to be non functioning too, but at least the at least it lights up. And it does make some kind of oddball sound. I suspect it might be the belts. Let me go ahead and tear this thing apart. Now I don't have a service manual, but I think for sure this here motor with the mounting plate needs to be removed. And that seems to be held in by three Phillips screws. So let me get on that. And here you can see what's left of the main drive belt. Um, which is... Part of it's still on the motor pulley. The belt just completely disintegrated and uh, turned to goo. Now the, the pulley here, I clean with uh, a Q-tip soaked in alcohol. And I notice also there's actually there are actually two grooves here for this motor. So there's actually two belts go on there. There's another disintegrated belt. And I think there's going to have to be a third one, which would be the counter, which is going to be the counter belt. Now, I can't get in this one here, so I think what I'm going to do is put some alcohol on a kitchen napkin and then try to get in there or try to get a little, um, a little, a little, a dental pick brush, you know, like flossing your teeth. I think I can get that in there. Let me go get one of those. So it looks like using this uh, floss brush here, actually did the trick. Also there's gunk here on this, this wheel here that needs to be taken off. I'm going to try to get a toothpick in here and then clean it up like I did the motor pulley and back in the guts of this thing it looks like there's a drive belt I may as well change it out too also I have to clean if there's any gunk on the flywheel here um, that has to come off too so it looks like I am gonna have to remove this mechanism here complete since um, I'm going to have to get to the counter belt and also I noticed the eject mechanism is not working. So in order for me to get this mechanism here off, I'm, what I'm going to do is remove some screws. I think there's one there, one there, and it should be oftentimes there's, or in almost all cases, there are screws on the bottom here. So I'm going to have to flip the unit over and I'm probably going to end up taking off the the faceplate here which means I'd have to pull the buttons and everything but that shouldn't take very long anyway so if we look at the bottom I would say it's these two screws here and then two on the top I think for the mechanism and here there's to take the plate off there's three down three here also on the bottom and there's two on the other side since one of them uh, held the case in. Okay, I still couldn't get this thing to come now. Looks like um, everything's good to go except it seems like I forgot one screw. That screw right there. And it's going to come out right now. So I did have problems getting um, this screw out. And looks like I'm going to have problems getting the other one out too because of the they use some kind of uh, Loctite on here. So what I had to do is I used the here I used the heat gun on there, and then I hit it with a um, once I got done heating it, then I hit it here with some uh, cold spray, and and I had an exact fitting screwdriver, and that was just enough to break it loose. So now off to the other side. So the whole mechanism is out now 
And the only thing I got to do, I think, remove this tie wrap here. I'm just going to clip this with my wire cutters, and I'll put a new tie wrap back on later. And then I can pull the complete unit out, but still have it connected electrically. And last but not least, there's also a spring down here. And I believe that should finally be it. That spring just needs to be unhooked, and then I should be good to go. And of course, one other tie wrap down here, and I'm hoping that should finally be it. So the next thing I'm going to do is to take the counter belt off, and then I can clean up this plate nicely here. It's got a lot of dust on it. And all I need to do, I think I, I can get here, get to this like this here. There's two Phillips screws, one on the left here, and here one on the right. And if I use a little jewel or screwdriver, I can get right in there. So, got that loose. Let me get the other side. Okay, it's coming right out. So, I gotta shut the camera off. I gotta catch those screws. So now that I got that plate off, I was able to clean everything up more because dust is the enemy of these units. All that, all that dust, even though they might not be touching any critical parts, I always try to get that out of there because that can really gum things up. And here's the let me focus down there. There's a, you can just see the head right here. I'm going to have to clean that. It's the record playback head. Over here is the erase head. Here's the cap stand. That's going to, I'm going to clean that with alcohol. Of course the, both of the heads going to be cleaned with alcohol, pure alcohol. And here, the little rubber wheel, that's the pinch roller. That's going to have to be cleaned with alcohol. And of course, in order to clean the, in order to clean the head here, all I'm going to do is get down in here, and then what I do is just go with the side the side motion. Seems like the head's not really worn. If they get really worn, the gap will widen and if there's any sometimes in the gap if there's some kind of gunk in the gap I'd use something really soft like a toothpick in order to get that out where you can see that I don't know how close I can focus there on that it's probably as close as I can get you can see it right there it's starting to clean up I'm going to clean up that up and get the rest of the dust down in there so I just noticed that this record playback lever, I guess you'd call it, which connects to the record playback switch here. This is going like really sluggish. So I'm just going to go ahead and remove it, clean it up, and lubricate it, and then put it back in. I'm going to try to do this by reaching around the camera. A lot of the stuff I do, sometimes I can't even film because it's just too much of a headache. Okay, now I have to look for C clip came off, but now I have to look for it. it Good news is it's inside the unit somewhere. Okay, the cup came out easy enough and I found it again. Let me just theoretically okay, pull up on this thing. Of course it only goes in one way too, which is good. So now I clean everything up with uh, basically just a Q-tip and alcohol. Oh, then I just apply a light dab of grease. Not too much. Not too little. And put a tiny dab on top here. And then OK. 
okay. Oh, the wrong way. Well, okay. Okay, it's going pretty easy now. So, I'm just going to go ahead and clean this up a little bit and then put the C-clip back on. So, I basically got the clip in position. And now, I'm going to attempt to put this thing on. 